on YouTube when car dealers attack. You're in our video. And turn it whole pile. The sheriff of Arizona. Hi, Joe. You want to do an interview for when car dealers attack? There's a file at Andrew Thomas's office in regards to federal cover-up fraud. There's also a file at the U.S. Department of Justice and the Secretary of Energy, Stephen Chu. Joe, please come back and help me, bro. And this gentleman right here came by to hold my sign for me. And these are one of Joe Apollo's protesters out here. They've been out here for, I guess, pretty much about over a week or so right now. And you might want to see some of their signs. And a uh, butterfly sign. And the word sheriff. And then he's got his colleague, his wife, across the street. She's over there. And I had did an interview with Joe a few minutes ago, but it wasn't on camera. And he said he didn't have any problem with people being out here with the signs. The only problem he had is he didn't like the idea of these people making these pinatas and having kids uh, decapitate the heads off them, and, which was too much like illustrating violence against people. And that was the only grief that Joe had against the protesters. Other than that, he didn't have a problem with them disliking them. He just doesn't want anyone to incite kids to violence. And I'm not saying this group is doing this. Uh, I don't even know, I don't think this group right here, this gentleman had anything to do with that. But that was the only thing that Joe said to me. And there she is across the street. And uh, you guys will be on YouTube. Thank you. How was your interview with Joe? Do you guys want to make any comment on when car dealers attack? That's a YouTube video on the web. Uh, is this really a family, family.com? You guys don't have an interview? I mean, you don't want to give me any kind of interview on an assault on women and children? What about the pretty lady here that they use on the, on the TV here? What about you? you? Got anything to say? Nothing? Does Channel 3 support violence against women and children? I mean, I talked to Joe. Joe said he was going to look into it. There's a file over at Andrew Thomas's office, the Maricopa County Attorney's office. There's another file at John McCain's office. Anyhow, is there anything you guys like to say? Anything? Anyhow, this is Channel 3. This is the type of corporation and company they are. They went in to do an interview with Joe, which I guess is fine. But they don't want to make any comment on when car dealers attack. Why is that? Please watch all the video on Working Man in AZ videos. Only on YouTube. Thank you, Channel 3 for very, being very cruel, cold, and heartless, which is kind of what you represent. I'm in front of the Wells Fargo here, and I just tried to do an interview with Channel 3. I guess Channel 3 is a type of news agency. It says family, but they don't seem to be too concerned about women and children. Now, if you go over here and you look at the video, when car dealers attack, and you realize that I'm at the Wells Fargo, which is where they're doing an interview, okay, with Mr. John Stumps. And I understand Joe Opile has an office in there. And he's got a business associate association with Wells Fargo. And here is Channel 3. Now, Channel 3 says they're the family.com. Are they really the family.com? Here's their van. There's the video. The video's about children protesting the American Constitution by Fritz Henderson's Auto Nation, uh, Mike Jackson, GM dealership, and many of his other board members. But apparently, Channel 3 isn't really what they say, is it? Well, I'm still here at Wells Fargo. My sign, when car dealers attack. Remember, this is an assault on women and children. This is assault on the American Constitution. This is an assault on every soldier that lost a limb or a life or a grieving mother or father in America. This is what this assault's on. It's not just about General Motors and Auto Nation. It's about a hell of a lot more. It's about us as Americans. And there's Channel 3. This is, this is a network that claims they're the family. Which family are they in? Well, it's the Ford truck. Are they with the Ford, Alan Malamy family, which supports Auto Nation, Mike Jackson? Are they with this family? Perhaps they're with this family over here. 
operation. You know, the police are always at your dealership. When you're a crook, they always got to show up to your dealership. They call them the Bell Road motherfuckers. Pardon? They call Midway the Bell Road motherfuckers. Where's the father fucker? They're motherfuckers. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. They got 80 complaints with the Better Business Bureau. They got the worst reputation in the state, Larry Van Tile. Well, I'm standing here at Channel 3. They claim that the Arizona families. Let's see if they have any concern for civil rights, children and women, the American Constitution, and a complete, all-out, blatant fraud by the Larry Van Tool Group, ABC Midway, the Bell Road motherfuckers. Huh? Do. Please don't record me. No, it's okay. No, this is a not. this is a file in regards to something that's happened in Arizona, and you guys said you're the family place. Stop recording me. I just want to. Uh, all right, I'm not recording you. I just want to drop the stuff off. I got some footage of you guys down there in front of Joe Pyle's building. Okay. But anyhow, he told me he would do a story. Now this is this is an an operation that claims that they are they care about families. When car dealers attack, is about a civil rights attack on children. I'm inside their building. I don't really know if this is a place that cares about children. Here's their operation. There, they're, there, there they are. But anyhow, I came here to drop off some information about a story with a, with a gentleman I was talking to last week, just so you can have a, an idea of who's really on your side. Here we are, licensing board. Now. Jan Brewer knows we out here. She knows about when car dealers attack. She won't make a move on Barb Bartlett, the mayor of the city of Peoria, Arizona, or the police chief, Mr. Ratcliffe. They're involved in a federal civil rights crime and cover-up because she needs the votes. The same with Terry Godar. He's not going to help us. He needs the votes, too. These guys are just crooked. This is to the Obama Task Force administration that you, you set up in Washington, sir. There's something wrong here. Fraud starts at the dealership, and then it goes to the manufacturer, and then if you complain in the state of Arizona, you get beat up. Look at, look at my video on Nissan, the Nissan tent sale attack. That was just in May. This is the mentality of Carlos Goss. He can't control the pimps, and then if you go to the biggest pimp in the country, he sends a guy out there to beat you up. Back again after three months later with my investigation, <laughs> And it's kind of funny that in the, in the sales contract across America, they usually have a check form that comes with it that tells you what's on your cars. Now, you guys had this investigation for three months, and we can't even get a copy of an inquiry from the car dealership. Now, what happened to Mr. Scruggs? He was investigated. He's gone. He's a crook. But anyhow, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Jan Brewer doesn't do anything for anybody. She doesn't deserve to be a governor. Okay, because she basically does nothing for nobody. This car was involved, ma'am, in an issue that can endanger a person's life. This car dealership not just defrauded her for four or five thousand, but had a recall fraud, which is in Washington, D.C. right now, that could endanger her life every day. And you guys know about it, and Brewer knows about it. You know, be of the, of the checklist contract? You need to be leaving. Okay. Well, what about the copy of the checklist contract? You can't figure out that. It's part of a contract. It's part of four or $5,000 worth of fraud. You're disrupting but the But wait office. a minute. I'm not disrupting anything. You are. You are. No. You're Why don't you get a copy of the contract? Man, Tyler's lying, and Nissan North America has a copy of that. You tell the party who filed the complaint. Tell